Last chance, Pat. Tell me where it is. I, I don't know what you're talking about, I swear. Tell me where it is, or I'll waste you right here now! You know, out of the long list of things I imagined happening today, I have to say this wasn't at the top. I mean, last night, I was on a date. And now, I'm sitting here in the middle of God knows where, with my best friend locked up in that car over there, and Alex Jordan, the wannabe bad boy here holding a gun in my face, threatening to kill me. Let me just go back to how yesterday was supposed to go. When you're at her house, taking her things, try to get her debit card. You have no idea how much money I can get from those numbers. Ricky here was my partner in this money-making scheme. And it just so happened he had an IQ of 160. See, my parents are always snapping at me about getting a job and making good grades and stepping out into the real world. And they tell me I need to do all three at once, but they're not creative like we are. So we put our heads together and we expanded our forms of business. And I started dating. Hey guys, they got you spray paint this? Who cares? That's Sammy. He moved you from the Bronx after his family had to downsize after having to bail him out from juvie for assault and battery. We figured he'd be good to keep around if anyone ever asked us too many questions. This one doesn't look nearly as demented as the last one. Good luck. I've been dating this girl Chloe for a couple of weeks now. She may have a couple of loose wires up there, but she is wealthy. And I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I took a couple of her things. I mean, that's why I'm here, after all. Hi, Pat. I like dating Hi, rich Pat. girls, especially my last girlfriend, Hannah. Hannah! What are you doing in here? But once I had gotten what I wanted and broken it off, she didn't take it very well. Is this really the way you want to handle this? No. This is the best way to handle this. O okay, so I, I may have stolen her debit card, but she doesn't know. I thought we had a fun time last night. No, no, no. We did have I fun. mainly left her because I she was so tonight, materialistic. It's just... Someone has to learn that filling people's heads with lies won't get them what they want. Especially their ex-boyfriend back. This isn't about getting you back! You stole from me! And I plan on saving Chloe the trouble before you do the same to her! Hannah's done her homework. And where'd you get that idea from? I know how you and Ricky make your money! You know what? If you're going to let her walk in here and talk to me like that, well, I'm about to take you out on a date, then don't bother. Wait, no! I thought leaving like that would leave Hannah with nothing else to do with the situation. She didn't have enough evidence to turn me in, but Hannah's not the kind of person to let things go. She's the kind of person that would call her other ex-boyfriend, Alex Jordan, and promise that she would get back together with him if he did this one huge favor for her. Now, there were plenty of exes she could have called, but Alex is known for taking things a little over the top. Sammy, get over here right now. Get in. Alex, is this really the way you want to handle this? Tell me where it is, or I'll waste you right here now! Sammy, nice of you to join us. Put the gun down. Alex, Sammy here is one of my other friends. He's got a GPS on my phone and he followed it here. He's also got a 9mm pointed at the back of your skull, but you probably already figured that part out. Now, in a situation like this, you have to ask yourself, Am I really willing to do what I'm threatening? Or am I just some guy cluelessly waving a gun in another guy's face to impress a girl? Now I know Hannah's into degenerates like you and I, but I think she's also into guys that have a pulse. Drop it. Go home, Alex. You just painted your airsoft gun, didn't you? Yeah. 